Welcome back, K Whoppers. We are in week two of our Easter celebration, um, or the resurrection celebration. Uh, we have Miss Tori here joining us, and she's going to read Jesus is Arrested and Crucified for you guys at home. So she'll let you know what uh, stories in the Bible to follow along with at home. So go ahead and get your praying hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads. Dear Father God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for Tori and her willingness to come and help us out today. I pray that the word that she's going to read, our friends at home, touches their hearts and they continue to share the message with their friends and that their friends' hearts change towards you, Father God. Um, I pray that during this resurrection season that um, new beginnings are formed in their little hearts and in their family's hearts as well. In Jesus' beautiful name, amen. amen. All right, take it away, Miss Tori. Okay, Jesus is arrested and crucified. From chapters Matthew 26 to 27, Mark 14 to 15, Luke 22 to 23, and John 18 to 19. Judas went to the leaders. He asked, how much will you pay me if I help you capture Jesus? They said, 30 pieces of silver. So Judas took the money and made a plan. Jesus had gone to his favorite garden to pray. The disciples went along. Jesus prayed, Father, if it is your will, I am ready to give my life so that all of the people who trust in me will be saved from their sins. Soon, Judas arrived with some soldiers. Peter wanted to protect Jesus, but Jesus said, no, I must allow this to happen. All the disciples ran away and the soldiers arrested Jesus. They took Jesus to the leaders. The leader said, you say that you are the son of God. We do not believe you. The soldiers took charge of Jesus. They made him carry a big wooden cross. They took him to a place called the skull. There they nailed Jesus to the cross and Jesus died on the cross. Everyone who loved Jesus was very sad, but they forgot something important. Jesus said he would see them again soon. So that's the end of the book. So I'm going to close that in prayer, close your eyes, or bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for putting us on our hearts to um, read this story and just spread your word again, uh, across uh, the world, Lord God. I want to say thank you, Jesus, for being here with us and covering us with your blood, Lord God. Thank you that I am able, to, I'm here to um, spread your word, Lord God, and be able to reach these children. I pray that you touch their hearts, Lord God. And help them on their way um, through life. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Tori. That was such a wonderful story you shared with our friends at home. Um, again, we love you guys. Stay safe. Always be kind to each other and love one another. Bye. Bye.